Welcome to the Land Geek Podcast, your resource for information and tips to making money by buying and selling land. Let the Land Geek show you how to make a passive income by working smart, not working hard. Learn strategies and tricks to make money buying and selling raw land today. And here is the man that's going to help you do that, the Land Geek. Hey, this is Mark Podolsky, the Land Geek from thelandgeek.com, and I'm really excited. I hope you're sitting down because I have pulled strings. I have made phone calls. I have gotten one of the busiest, most influential men in real estate on the podcast. I'm kind of actually impressed with myself. And if you haven't heard of him, you're going to be absolutely blown away by what he's going to share with us this morning. Larry Goins from South Carolina, and this guy is big, big. He's a member of the North Carolina Association of Mortgage Professionals. He's a member of the National Association of, uh, uh, or he's, he's was past president of the Metrolina Real Estate Investors Association in Charlotte, North Carolina. He's an active real estate investor. He travels all over the country training people at conventions, expos, real estate investment associations, and this is why he's such a big deal. He buys 10 to 15 properties per month without ever leaving his office. I am privileged. I am pleased. I'm excited to introduce the man, the myth, the legend, Larry Goins. Larry, how are you? Woo! What's up? <laughs> how you doing? Oh, I'm busy. I got to tell you, I'm busy. I'm I'm buying and selling raw land every day, and uh, so I'm I'm curious though because you know out here in in Scottsdale the housing market is super hot. It's competitive, and oh, my yeah. friends who are flipping houses like they're all complaining. They can't get a deal to save their life, and I know you're buying properties left and right, and I know we're gonna have a uh, webinar which we'll talk about a little bit later where you're going to explain how you do all this to everybody. But man, are you still getting deals? Are you, are you having any issues in this market? Oh, uh, no, nah, man, I don't have any issues. You don't. No, nah, man, everybody has issues. Everybody has issues, but we are doing 10 to 20 deals a month. And, uh, and I probably work in the business about maybe five hours a week. I got maybe five hours that, a week. Yeah. Maybe five, maybe one a day. Um, yeah, but, I can vouch for uh, that, by the way, because I called your office yesterday just to confirm this podcast, and Candace is like, "Yeah, Larry's gone." It, it was like it was like after lunch, I'm like, "Oh, that's nice." Well, I was at the U.S. National Whitewater uh, Olympic, uh, whatever they call that place up there. There's a place that they built about four year, four or five years ago, or no, maybe it's about eight years ago. Anyway, the U.S. Whitewater Olympic. Uh, practice center or training center up above Charlotte and um, you know went up there with uh, you know with my family and hung out for the afternoon and you know got in the canoe and did some rock climbing and um, it was just a lot of fun did some zip lining so we had a good time that's fantastic that's fantastic so let me ask you how did you get into real estate anyways like well uh you know, unless you have some people on here that have been around a while that are maybe chronologically challenged like me, I'm 53 years old. But the very first uh, first infomercial I saw was a guy named Tom Vu, V-U. And, I've heard of Tom uh, Vu. Yeah, he was the guy that had an infomercial on TV of him, a little short guy, and he used to – to be on the front of a yacht with a bunch of girls around him in bikinis and say, I learned how to make millions of dollars in real estate and you can too. Come to my free seminar this weekend. <laughs> and I went to his seminar and I signed up for the three day. And, uh, and then I eventually got my license, got into doing mortgages, started flipping houses. And, uh, you know, I, I never stopped learning though. I mean, I'm always, I, I read, a, I read an entire book last night and uh, really? what did you read? And it was a book by Dan Sullivan called The Question. 
and it was it's a very short book and it was all it's all about how to help other people reach their goals and uh um, oh, yeah it was really cool it was really cool so uh, it was a very short read and uh Actually, I said it was last night. It was uh, night before last because I, it, the reason it took me a little longer than normal, my wife was watching The Bachelor. She had to see what happened with Juan Pablo. <laughs> so I was reading in between, you know, taking a peek at Juan Pablo <laughs> and, and what he, what's That's going great. on with all the bachelorettes and stuff. Uh, it cracks me up. <laughs> See that's, see, that's a sign of a good marriage, when both parties can get their needs met, and neither one of them kind of shames the other, like, you know, like, you can you can read, and then you can look up, and be like, oh, yeah, did she, did she go with, uh, what do you do, or Juan Pablo? Yeah, who did he that's pick? Cool. Who did he pick? Right. That girl needs to dump him. He's a dog. <laughs> 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 oh. That's great. That's great. All right, so you're... You're flipping houses, you're doing mortgages, you're all in. At, at that point when you first started, like, did you have a mentor? I mean, how are you, what were you doing as far as education? Well, you know, I really believe that uh, the, the, the quickest, shortest, fastest way to become successful is to find somebody that's where you want to be and get as close yeah, as you can to them. Uh, whatever you have to do, even if you have to buy your way in. You know, I'm just a firm believer in that, and I'm involved in, you know, I mean, yes, I do, you know, all that stuff, but, but I, I have coaches and mentors and involved in masterminds and stuff, so I'm a firm believer in that. When I first got started, there wasn't any way to do this. There wasn't even any local real estate investors associations. You, you couldn't no find a, a, a group to go to. No. I did my first deal back in the 80s and, uh, you know, like the early 80s, and, and you – you know, they didn't have real groups back then. So, uh, so yeah, but I, I think if you can find somebody, especially with the Internet and things like your podcast and stuff, I mean, there's all kind of free information and education and training and out there. And um, But then you got to find somebody you know, like, and trust, and then just get as close to, you, to them as you can and get out there and make it happen. That will shorten your learning curve. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know, the days of having any type of excuse, are kind of gone. I mean, you can learn today anything you want. It doesn't matter what it is. You just really have to have the desire, the persistence to do it because it's all there. It's unbelievable. I mean, we're living in the best time ever as far as education is concerned. Would you agree? Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. There's, you know, the smartest person on the, or I shouldn't even say person, smartest thing on the earth is Google. Google will tell you anything you don't you want that you want to know. In fact, Google will even let you know if you don't know how to spell. You know, yeah. did you mean yeah. real estate? <laughs> right, right, yeah. No, it's true. It's true. Like I get so angry when my kids come home and they're, you know, the teachers like you know memorize these facts. I'm like, there's no need to know any facts anymore. You just need to know how to type in some, you know, whatever you want to know. Like Google indexed it for you. Why do you need to memorize this anymore? It, yeah, it's like I was taking my son to school this morning and uh, on the way he was calling out the states and their capital and the abbreviation, you know, and, and some of them he was asking me, you know, like, well, you know, I'm not really sure which, what the capital is of that one. You know, but hold on, I'll tell you in about three seconds. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, pull out my exactly. iPhone and type it in, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Then, you know, there's iTunes University. Um, I mean, there, there, there's there's just so much out there. And then there's there's the training. I mean, I, I, I heard a great quote. If you think education is expensive, try ignorance. That's really good. Too, yeah, I forgot who said that, but no, I love that really quote. That's really good. Yeah. All right. Well, let, yeah. Let's get back Here, here's, one I, here's one I like, Mark. You'll like yeah. this one. You know, real estate is not risky. Being uneducated is what's risky. <laughs> I love that. Is that. That's a great one. Can I can I steal that? Uh, you can borrow it. <laughs> I'll borrow it. I'll reference you. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Well, let, let's get back to you. So you're doing deals in the '80s. Now, were you mainly doing mortgages, or were you mainly flipping homes? 
Like what well, was your, you know, your back niche? Back in the 80s, I was really a stockbroker, and I was just trying to do real estate on the side nights and weekends. You know, oh, and mo- oh, like, wow. like most people, I was a stockbroker, and, and then I got into the mortgage industry and became a licensed realtor. And, you know, like a lot of people, I'm just trying to do real estate nights and weekends. And, okay. Yeah, trying to do real estate nights and weekends. And the problem is most people trying to do real estate have a full-time job. So everything that everybody out there teaches you, you got to do real estate nights and weekends. You got to, you know, you got to go out there and physically do it yourself. You know, you got to drive the streets. You got to meet the realtors. You got to get the inspections, go out and look at the property, drive the neighborhoods, all that. Well, man, I don't know about you, but, you know, I, I didn't have time back then. So, but I read this book. Man, I read this book by Michael Gerber called The E-Myth. I know you've read that book. I love that book. I love that it's book. A, it's a great book. And Michael Gerber says, if you don't, if you have a business and it can't run without you, in other words, you can't take the afternoon off and go to the Whitewater Center and hang out with your family. If you, if you have a business and it can't run without you, you don't really have a business. What you have is a job. That's true. And That's right. Yeah, yeah. And everybody who wants to get into real estate already has a job, but the problem is everything everybody teaches them, they end up with two jobs, the one they don't want and the one they thought they wanted. (laughs) Right. No, it's true. It's true. But after reading Michael Gerber's book, I came up with systems and processes and procedures, and I got to tell you, man, now we have a business. We have operations manual. We have a business. We got SOPs, standard operating procedures. You know, we have daily huddles, weekly meetings, quarterly meetings, quarterly goals. You know, and that's the things I'm in, I'm involved in. I've yeah, got, you, you get you got I'm, a big operation. How many employees do you have now, Larry? How many employees do I have working for me? Yeah, uh, about half of them. <laughs> 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 no, we have just under thirty. Yeah, okay. I mean, that's a big operation. That's a that's a big. Well, now that now that's between the real estate and the education side. I think we have, I think we have. I don't know. Um, we have about uh, ten or eleven people on the real estate side, and the rest right. are on the education side. Okay. Because I got okay. like full time webmaster, a systems administrator. I've got. Uh, uh, a full-time CFO, a COO, a JV manager, uh, got course consultants that, you know, when people who get our education, we really do want them to, you know, to, to run with it and to really do well with the training. So I've hired people that are in my office on salary that, you know, they answer students' questions and help get them up and running and take, the, take our training that's amazing, from bookcase to bank account. Yeah, you know really what's so cool. funny about that is uh, I was talking to, you know, Joanne Musa, the tax lien lady? Yeah. Yeah, I know her. Yeah, yeah. She's so, one so of my I'm, students. She's one yeah, of my students. She got my training. Yeah, I know. I know. So she's, so I'm I'm like trying to figure out, okay, how do I get a hold of Larry Goins? You're, because, by the way, Larry's a very tough guy to get a hold of. So I'm like, you know, how do I do this? What do I do? And she's, and, and so we're talking about, I forgot which, uh, which program of it which program she was talking about. She's like, but of all the, all the home study courses, Larry's people are the only ones that follow up with me. Like they really cared. Like it wasn't, you know what I mean? Like they called that's like you. a shock and that's like a shock, right? <laughs> yeah, no, it's a, but that's what that is. It's a, it's like a huge differentiator. It's like this unique thing going on that no one's doing that is so simple to do. Like, Hey, how's it going? And, uh, you know, an actual physical human being making a phone call instead of just, you know, like an autoresponder kind of thing. Yeah. Which is, which is very impressive. So she was like, yeah, you got to talk to Larry. I'm like, all right. I'm going to try to talk to Larry. And I think, you know, 120 days later, I was able to uh, figure it out. But, uh, which is, which is great, which is great because, uh, look, you know, your time's valuable, right? Exactly. Exactly. You got to do the highest payoff task. The highest what? Payoff task. Payoff. Right. You got to spend your time with the highest payoff task. And you know, listen, uh, it's just like you doing the podcast and us us on here providing information and content. You know, it's uh, 
by by providing people with a lot of information and education and content, it makes them want more, and it makes them want to buy houses from us, sell houses to us. You know, we fund their deals, all kind of stuff. They just learn who we are and what we do, and that we really care. So you're so you're like a one stop shop. I can get the education from you. I can do. I can actually get funding from you, even if I've never. Yeah. Like, you, you fund a newbie. Yeah, we I've, do that. I have no money. I have no credit. And I'm doing a deal, and I can call you. Yeah, doesn't mean I'm going to approve you, but yeah, you should call. call. <laughs> yeah, so if you like the deal. Yeah, you, you got to like, the, like deal. the deal. I'm I'm more concerned about the deal than I am the the borrower. But uh, you are the borrower. But yeah, right. I, you know, I mean, what kind of comfort is that? Knowing you got somebody who's literally done thousands of deals looking over your shoulder to say, "Now nah, I wouldn't put my money in this deal." You know, that's, that's a good, good feeling. That's great. That that's how you sleep well at night in real estate, especially when you're starting out. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, that's great. That's great. All right. So you're 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 doing deals in the beginning and how did you how did you get to the point where you didn't create yourself a job with the EMF? Like wh- how did you first do cuz let's face it, this is this is a tough transition to make, right? Because the cheapest person you can hire is always yourself. So at what point do you say, "Okay, I can afford the next person in the chain, so to speak. Well, you could do that day one, and you can afford them by hiring them on commission only. On commission only, okay. On commission only. And, you know, uh, uh, Wendy in our office, she has a term for commission only. You eat what you kill. So (laughs) I love that. (laughs) as As long as you're productive, you know, don't confuse activity with productivity. But as long as you're productive and you get out there and do some deals, you're going to make some money. And quite frankly, you know, you you can do this whether you have employees that come to your house or to your office, or you can do it with virtual assistants. It doesn't really matter. But it doesn't. Um, no, who cares? I mean, we got we got people in our office, and we got a VA or two, but we literally make about two to three thousand offers a week, and we do that. The, uh, a lot of it is virtual the way we do it, right? But uh, but yeah, I mean it's just a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun. We make money. We have contests. We have outings. We do a lot of stuff together, and you know have monthly luncheons. And you know it's just it's really kind of a team spirit. And we have our we have our uh, we have our mission statement hanging up on the wall. And anytime somebody comes in for an interview. We set them down in the lobby and face in that mission statement. And when they come in for an interview, the very first thing I ask them is, so what is our mission statement here? And and we even put it in our ads too. If we run ads on Craigslist, and here's a good ad that you can run, our ads basically say, learn to flip houses using my money. I will train you. And then it oh, goes on great. to talk about – yeah, you like that? It goes on to I talk about it's commission only, working full time in my office. I'm not looking for somebody who's looking for some free training for a few months and then go out of their on their own. I'm looking for somebody who wants to be a part of a big of a bigger organization, a part of a team, camaraderie, you know, and 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 that gets along well and has fun and makes money together. And uh, so when I bring them in. You know, I ask them about the mission statement. Another thing I ask them is, uh, so what do we do here? If they can't tell me what we do, you know, if they haven't at least done a little bit of research, because I guarantee you if I got somebody coming in for an interview, I got somebody in the office here has gone and checked out their Facebook page, their LinkedIn page, checked and see what kind of stuff they're liking and posting about on Facebook, you know, and and if they're just, you know, if, if, if you can tell that they're a motivational, inspirational type person who's a positive person, then man, I'm all for that. I'm into that. But if they're just talking about, you know, partying and this and that, and that, and that's pretty much it, you know, that's not the kind of person we're looking for. Does that make sense? That makes a lot of sense. Uh, yeah, I, I, talk, I always talk about hiring A players only, and I only use virtual assistants. I don't have anybody that I, I physically work with, although I'm, I'm thinking I, I need to get somebody now. How many um, VAs do you have? Do I have seven VAs. So, oh, my gosh. What do they do? 
oh my gosh, you know, I've got marketing VA, I've got my tech VA, I've got my uh, my uh, offers VA, I've got my VA that uh, you know handles my calendar. Uh, who else? Uh, I've got the the Craigslist VA. So we're always putting up Craigslist ads when we're selling our land. Um, I've got uh, a copywriter, and um, who am I forgetting? I think that's I think that's it for now. So where do you like to hire your VAs from? You know what? I like Odesk. dot com as opposed I to do Elon. too. I love Odesk. I, I like Odesk, and and we and I've talked about this before. I, for for whatever reason, I don't know why. I can't tell you why. I have better luck with people from the Philippines than I do any other country. And that's not. Do you know why? And do you know I why no that idea is? Why? I just have good luck. No. Well, why I, is it? I, I, There's a reason. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you my reasoning. I don't know if it's true or not, but I'm gonna tell you what my theory is. Is yeah. People in the Philippines, and, and it doesn't mean people in other countries aren't what I'm getting ready to say, but I'm just saying, as a general rule, I have found people in the Philippines, are, they're, they're dedicated, they're motivated, they're humble, and when you hire them, you can hire them literally dirt cheap, one, two, three dollars an hour. But if they've been with you for two, three weeks, what I do is I double their income. If they're at a buck fifty, I take them on up to three dollars. Now it doesn't sound like very much, but if they were willing to work for a buck fifty an hour, and all of a sudden a few weeks later you've doubled their income, I mean, think about it. Think about it, Mark. You know, if if, if you were in the states and going to get a job, and you got a job paying sixty thousand a year, what's the right. likelihood of the boss calling you into the office in three weeks saying, you know? I know you're pretty new, but you're doing a great job. We're going to go ahead and bump you on up to 120 grand a year. That's not going right, to happen, yeah. is it? It's never going to happen. No. So, the, but the thing about it is, it's all relative. If they were willing to work for a dollar fifty, three dollars an hour is still double. Right. right. So that's yeah, what I we mean, do. Yeah, that's what we do. Yeah. You okay? So you do the same thing. So, but you've got a lot of people in house, correct? We do have a lot of people in house. I want to tell you another secret for about Odesk. Your, sure. your listeners are going to love this, okay? Say I'm getting ready to hire a VA, and I want that VA to uh, to build my buyer's list for me, okay? Right. I will run an ad on Odesk, and I will say I'm looking for an experienced real estate investor VA to build my buyer's list that convert into buyers. I will say I am not interested in training you. I want somebody who already knows what they're doing and has a track record of building a buyer's list that can convert into real buyers. Send me send me an email and tell me exactly what you would do to build my buyer's list and exactly how you would do it. Do not respond with a generic response as they will not be replied to. So now what happens, Mark, is I get all these people telling me how to build my buyer's list, and I'm like, Wow, that's a great idea. I never thought about this. Wow, this is a good idea. I never thought about that. So they're teaching me stuff that I may not have known. Oh, I love it. That's that's genius. I'm I'm stealing that one as well. <laughs> I'm stealing. It's a Thank it's you. a lot of fun. It's really good. I actually had one guy. I did that about maybe a year ago. Right, and I had I had one. Well, I actually had two guys. Now that I think of it, two guys responded and said, "I already have a buyer's list. I have built. If you will hire me, I will give you my buyer's list." No <laughs> like, kidding. Yeah. On on Odesk. On Odesk. On Odesk. Fantastic. That's a great. I actually tip. found a I actually found a guy in the states who lives in Ohio that responded to one of my ads on Odesk. And I ended up hiring him on commission only to be an acquisition manager, and he's doing deals with me virtually. He's virtually doing deals. He's That's virtually doing happen. deals yeah. with me. Yeah. We call That's him. Uh, we call him our BAM, B A M, branch acquisition manager. BAM. I'm feeling that one too. I like that. I like that. So let me, let me ask you this. Um, we're having a webinar 
next Wednesday. And we're going to learn about what in uh, your program? Well, like why, uh, why, why should what I webinar are we doing? You're going to have to refresh my memory. We're, we're doing uh, day trading. Real estate day trading, buying and Real selling houses the same day using the internet. Yeah. So real estate day trading, that's, that's a phrase that I coined. Uh, it's all about how to buy and sell houses the same day using the internet. Okay. okay. And what, what we basically, it's what we do most of. For example, uh, we'll buy a house at 10 o'clock and sell it at 1030. And you'll buy a house at 10 o'clock, and you'll sell it at 10.30. That's right. Did I just hear that right? That is, that is right. Now, don't get me wrong. I mean, it takes it takes about three to four weeks to lead up to that day, but we're going right. to make offers, get deals under contract. We'll get a deal under contract. We'll do our due diligence. We'll get a buyer lined up, and the day we are supposed to close to buy it, that same day we're going to turn around and sell it, and we already have okay. our buyer lined up. So on the day we close on our buy, we're going to close on our sale the exact same day. Wow. I'm, I'm sold. I'm sold. So I know you're new to this podcast, but we always we kind of get to that point now where we're going to talk about our tip of the week. And I, if you don't mind, I'm, I'm going to take that tip. So my tip of the week is going to be jump on the webinar next week. Uh, next Wednesday, I'll send. There'll be a link uh, in the podcast so you can register for it, so you can learn exactly how Larry does this. Working how many hours a week? Uh, probably about five at the real estate end of it. Five hours a week, which is unbelievable. And I assume you're not. You, if you're if you're day trading the house, you're not putting any money out, correct? Because the buyers well, pay. it kind of depends on the deal. I mean, we might put up the deposit, or sometimes we might fund the deal. But I'm going to show everybody how they can do the deals with none of their own cash, none of their own credit. We show them every way to close, every way to fund on a deal. So OPM, other people's money. OPE, other people's effort. Is that you right? You got it, man. You got it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so that's going to be my tip of the week. There will be a link to register for the webinar. Uh, all right, Larry, I love putting people on the spot. I, I'm going to put you on the spot. What is your tip of the week? You've already given us some great tips. but Man, I, I got a bunch I, of I tips want, of the I week. I want Here, something concrete, like they can click on it and they can go. Here, here's my best tip of the week before I give out a link, okay? Okay. My best tip of the week is buy low, sell high. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay, I've never one, heard You know, that's weird. I've never heard that one. And uh, really, and the next one is have fun and make money. Have fun and make money. Have fun. Buy low, make sell money. high. Have fun, make money. And the third one is if it's to be, it's up to me. Man, I got, a, be, I got a ton of them. I, it. I got a ton of them. But you, you, you know, need to come uh, back. We'll have to do this again for sure. Oh man, I'll be glad to anytime. It's not a big deal. I'll be more than happy to. You know, I, I, I love teaching. I love sharing. And, um, you know, I, I've, I've got, I guess if I had to give out any tip, it would be that uh, on my website, I've got a ton of tips. I've got how to work with realtors, how to negotiate deals, how to buy a deal with no cash credit or experience, how to do a seller finance deal, all about Dodd-Frank and the SAFE Act. I've got articles, videos, audios, webinar replays, all that stuff at LarryGoins.com. So my tip of the week would be, if you go there, you'll find hundreds and hundreds of tips. That's great. All right. Fantastic. So I'll have a link to Larry's blog and get those tips as well. I also have uh, another tip that uh, I just found. I thought it was kind of cool. Larry, you ever heard of pdfescape.com? Uh, no. Okay. So this is a free PDF editor and form filler. And what I like about it is you don't have to install any software. So on my Mac, I use a program called Formulate Pro, and I just drag in the PDFs, and I can go in and edit them and fill them out, and it's great, uh, especially what I'm doing, uh, like 
let's say an Arizona affidavit of property value, uh, something like that. I have to get the PDF and I've got to go in and, and fill it out or, or my VA has to do it and they've got to use this uh, program. But now if this is all online and you can do it. And uh, it's pretty cool. So I'm going to have a link to that as well. PDFescape.com uh, is going to also be my second tip of the week. And Larry's got tons of tips. Anyways, uh, Larry, before we close, any more sage wisdom you want well, to share? Uh, I think probably the best tip is, guys, get on the webinar. I'm going to, I'm going to show you specific details exactly what we do and how we do it in our office on a daily basis. And I don't care. I mean, I know I told you I have a lot of employees. I've got some VAs. I don't care if you're just brand new and getting started. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I'm going to show you how you can start right from where you are right now. And you can build an organization, whether you want to build a lifestyle business or an enterprise business. If you don't know the difference, a lifestyle business is where you can run your business from Starbucks with an internet connection and you can do what you want to when you want to an enterprise business you can still do the same but you've got employees you've got an office you've got other things like that going on so it's entirely up to you whether you want an enterprise business or a lifestyle business we have an enterprise business where we have an office that people come into and uh, and work every day but we have a lot of fun and we make a lot of money but you can have either one a lifestyle or an enterprise business that's great that's great all right well listen this is uh mark Fidolsky, the land geek with larry goins i urge everybody to go and register for the webinar the link will be below and i think it, I, I know that we can only do so many so get in there early so you don't get locked out um i i, don't, I think you only have 100 people on there is that right I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, but get it on there, register. It's going to be unbelievable, and uh, I'm really excited for it. And, Larry, I can't thank you enough for uh, for spending time with me uh, today and, and sharing all this really exciting information on real estate because, it's, look, it can be a game changer for somebody, right? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So uh, I'm really excited. Anyways, if you want to learn more, uh, I'm going to have a link to Larry's uh, blog as well with his uh, tips. And look, go to www.thelanegeek.com as well. Download the Passive Income Blueprint. Get the ebook, How to Avoid Three Fatal Land Buying Mistakes. Get this always fun, informative podcast delivered each week to your email inbox. And look, give me some love. If you want to buy some wholesale land, go to Frontier Properties usa.com and uh larry thanks again uh i'm honored that you were able to spend 30 40 minutes uh of your valuable time with me today and share with my podcast listeners uh all your seed wisdom and i can't wait to see everybody on the webinar next week awesome thanks larry thanks a lot everybody have a great day Thank you for listening to another episode of The Land Geek. Join us next time for more tips, secrets, and information that will help you succeed. Stay connected with The Land Geek on Facebook at facebook.com slash thelandgeek.